Okay, folks, well, here's my new RODI system. That's Reverse Osmosis Deionization Unit. I have hooked it up. I attached it to the wall here. Here is the Reverse Osmosis Cylinder. It's got the big filter in there. This is the deionizer, and these are two filtration cartridges. So, I, for now, since I happen to have a nice laundry sink close to here, I have plugged this in and just screwed it onto the sink right here. So from the sink, it goes through this yellow line up into here, where you can see it comes out the back and into this one. This one then comes out, goes into the membrane, reverse osmosis membrane, where it goes through and creates wastewater here, which I have stuck down my drain. I actually spilled a bunch of water on the floor earlier because it came out and I didn't realize it and it wasted about probably two gallons of water on the floor, but it's now on the sink drain, stuffed in there so that it won't come out. And then what doesn't get waste watered goes out this blue pipe and comes around to the back of this one, which is the deionizer. Then it comes out here and this is your drinking water or your good water and as you can see it's not much flow but this is a five gallon Home Depot bucket which I just emptied and refilled it had about two and a half gallons after about an hour uh, this is a 50 gallon per day unit which roughly translates into about two gallons per hour um, so I was getting a little higher flow rate than they suggested uh, now this is a laundry sink and um, there is full flow on it there's no fil there's no uh, filters or restrictors or uh, anything it just plugs right in I have the hot and the cold on all the way um, so this is as fast as water could possibly flow out of this unit and this is about the flow that we get um, and of course the first 10 gallons are supposed to be wasted so that's going to be you know two of these bucket fulls this is coming up on one full bucket um, probably get 10 get 10 gallons before tonight I will dump this and then I'll start collecting water for this, which is my future um, nursery for Live Rock. It's just a Home Depot bucket. And I somehow have to zoom this all the way. Let me zoom back out. Oops. And as you can see, I've already got the bucket started with a, one of my nice pieces of coral that I have. And this is a, I believe it's a 50 gallon bucket. Um, of course it has these holes in it, so I'm only going to be filling up to probably about this line. Probably that'll be my fill point right there. As you see, it covers the top of my um, rock. So that's where the RODI water is going to go next. Um, hopefully this works out using pure water. Um, but so far so good. I'm happy with the unit when it came it was leaking a little bit I had tightened a few connections up, but uh, since then not a drop of water and uh, Hey Looks like we're making water here. So I think we're doing good Anyway, enjoy if you guys get one. This is how they look. This is a $150 uh, unit by uh, Coralife